Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed the Smart 453 door storage organizer on the left and right side of my Smart 42 Prime electric drive. Here's what my car looked like after I just finished installing the armrest. If you noticed, I already had a center console located beneath the parking brake. Also, what I hadn't mentioned before was the WeatherTech floor liners that I have that uh, fit this car really nicely. But if you look at the right door, you'll see where the standard opening for the Smart 453. Then I was online and I noticed these door organizers uh, I found on Amazon. And I thought that looked really nice and useful. I think I'd try to get, give that a try and install some of those on my car. So I placed my order on Amazon and it took almost two and a half weeks for them to come in. But here they are. This is the box that came in. Here's the bubble wrap. There's the item. And it looks like it did not come with any instructions. We'll have to figure this out. Looks like just strips of tape. We just paste it in place. I show you that when I get to my car. I did a dry run of the fit prior to removing the adhesive strips. I just want to make sure it's going to fit there. The materials look like it's well made, hard plastic. There's no instruction with it. And this tape indicates it goes in between something. But it looks like the only part we're going to use is this outer portion. And I'll show you how it's going in there. But pretty much, it's going to fit like that. You got to wiggle it to a certain spot. And to go in, then to wedge itself into the front, much like this. I'll do it right in a minute. Then yeah, I like that. Then we'll push down on that one, and that'll secure itself. So let's give it a try. As with any project you're doing with adhesive, you need to apply alcohol to these areas that you're gonna plan on sticking to with a lint-free cloth. So I already wiped these out on both sides. Then, now we're going to go try to install the item. First, start by peeling off the little red strips off the in adhesive on this edge as well as this edge. I don't think it doesn't need for this, but we're going to go ahead and pull it all the way off. But it is 3M tape. That's good. So these two pieces of strips are coming off. Be careful as you're peeling this off. The adhesive sticking to the plastic try to come off with it. So make sure that doesn't happen. With the, with the adhesive tape removed, all we gotta do is set it into place like this, pull towards the back, straighten out the front. Make sure this lip is overhanging on that back part back there. You can see that, that lip is overhanging this piece. Get the way stick is gonna stick in. Get the front end, push it in like that, snap down. Got in there. I'm gonna check where that piece supposed to go in that groove. I was unable to determine if that stud on the panel was supposed to go between the seams on the, on the door panels itself, uh, but it fits fine just the way it is when it st sticks up against the side, as well as jamming to the wedge of the front. There is no adhesive 
with these new panels and the side of the door is a perfect fit and nice and snug. You get a little bit of flex at first, but I think that will settle after it's been sitting down a little bit. And as you can see on my left side, I got more easy access to my reading glasses uh, up, in the, up in that slot instead of being down in the cup. And um, it's worked out pretty good. Now on the right side of this, you can see, like I said, there's a slight color difference between the, the new panels and the regular door panels, but I think that'll be okay after time. This is yet another mod that proved to be quite useful. Thank y'all for watching.